Oh, hi there. Um, yes, I am in pajamas and it is mm, 1 15 p.m. on a Monday, but um, I don't work until 3 today, which is cool. So I just kind of didn't put any clothes on. Um, and with the, all this, this free time, I was like, you know what I should do? I should recreate some pictures now that my hair is a little bit blonde. I could do some some cute, uh, <laughs> really lazy easy outfits. Instead of a Halloween costume, I can, I can just recreate some photos with the clothes that I already have around the home. Around the home. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I haven't seen the movie The Royal Tenenbaums. I am in a bit of a Gwyneth Paltrow phase right now. I know she's she's controversial, but I'm kind of digging her. Say what you will about her, she's a 90s style icon, and um, while this movie isn't from the 90s, she's uh, got an iconic look in it, and it is very easy to recreate. I don't have a fur coat, which is the only thing she's wearing that would make me recognizable as this character, but we're just gonna put on a lot of dark eyeliner and then we're gonna put in a little barrette and then we're gonna wear a coat that I have that is not faux fur and then we're gonna we're gonna I don't know just look sad I think we part our hair on different sides so we're just gonna mirror her if that makes sense the best part of easy Halloween costumes is that you don't spend any money on them and you just use what you have and if it doesn't look exactly right then it looks like you're cool because you didn't try hard. Am I cool? No. Her hair's like bone straight. <laughs> Um, I did just spend a little bit of time looking for a, a barrette or a clip to put in my hair. I was positive that I had one. So I don't have the coat. I don't have the clip. I don't really have a uh, striped polo shirt. Um, but like I'm determined to do it. I also don't think I even have light pink gloves. Don't have a cigarette. But here's what I have. <laughs> I have this shirt we're going to use because it's blue and striped. And then this coat is similar color. And my hair. And then I also found this clip that is not for hair, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna <laughs> use it anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna put a bunch of dark eyeliner on. Okay, I'm not great at makeup, but it does look like she's not wearing any besides a bunch of eyeliner and mascara. Like, I don't even think I'm going to put blush or face makeup on or cover my under eye bags. Even though she doesn't have any, she just has great skin. You know what? We're going to save some time. We're just going to go for it. Um, this looks atrocious, but I think it maybe that'll be funny. Maybe that'll look good. Wow, I don't even know how to do makeup. Oh, I never wear underline underliner I never wear eyeliner under my eye um, I feel like it just gets inside my eyeball or on the surface of my eyeball it doesn't get inside my eyeball um, Wow all right oh she goes like all the way in okay will I have time to wash this off before work hope so Oh my gosh, how do you get it on the inside? What? It's fine. It's fine. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. This is absolutely going to smear before I take a picture. I don't have the highest quality stuff. Maybe I was supposed to put some sort of powder on my eyes before doing this and that it'll make it stay on and not smudge with my grease. Uh, but I, hindsight 2020. 
Wow, I feel like a clown. That's really good. Ah, oh, oh my gosh, it looks terrifying. Okay, I'm just gonna smear it in a little bit. Oh, now it's it's just gone. Oh, how did people do that? It just smeared right up under there. Maybe that's the look we're going for. Let's just smear it. We're gonna smear it. <laughs> oh no. This one might just be a fail, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. Let's pile on some mascara. I'll check in when I'm done. I forgot to mention, in case you were wondering, I was thinking about using a sucker um, instead of a cigarette, but instead I was like, this is my vibe, I love these, <laughs> and they're thicker, so um, it says Pirouette, but I always thought they were called Pirulines, maybe that's a different brand, um, they're delicious and they fit me really well, they fit my aesthetic really well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you were wondering, okay. <laughs> I kind of want to be sitting on a toilet for this, but I didn't know if the lighting would be too crappy and you can't really tell I'm on a toilet, but it has this nice little phone here. Um, and I'm taking some artistic liberties with the cigarette and the clip and the coat. So in this particular scene, I've seen pictures of, because again, I haven't seen the movie she's wearing. Um, not a coat, and I am. Enjoy. Alright, I could have put more effort into this one, but I'm honestly, I feel like it, you get the picture. I feel like you kind of get who I'm trying to be, and I have to get ready for work, so I'll see you next costume. I had a great day at work, thanks for asking. Yes, it's dark now, and yes, I put my pajamas back on. Um, but I was like, I have time to do another one. So I'm going to do Sabrina Spellman. I also haven't seen like the Netflix version of Sabrina, and I did steal this idea from Kennedy Walsh, who did um, a really good recreation of Sabrina Spellman. But I happen to have blonde hair now. It's not as blonde as hers. And then I have this dress that kind of <laughs> looks Sabrina-y and this headband. So I was like, let's do it. I need to put on some more makeup and I threw a couple curls in and a headband and we will reassess. Number two, Sabrina Spellman. I don't know where to do this one. She's like holding an apple in one picture. She has a black cat. She's winking in another one. We'll see. I tried going outside in the rain. I tried with the flash, without the flash. I tried taking weird mirror pics and weird apple pics, but um, I didn't recreate any of her pictures. But, I kind of recreated her look. So it's fine. I did not do this on purpose. I wore this sweatshirt to work today. And it is pretty identical to the sweater that Kate Blanchett is wearing in this one photo shoot that I've been obsessed with. I don't know why, I just like have saved it on Pinterest and there's all these pictures of her when she was younger, um, like with a cup of tea and reading a big book on a couch. Um, really nothing special, she's just gorgeous. So um, I was like, well, since I have that sweatshirt that looks like her sweater, I'm just gonna... I'm going to recreate the essence of her photos because if I were to just recreate any one of them exactly, it would drive me bazonkers and I'm trying to have a good time and have fun and um, not drive myself crazy. But I have no idea how she did her hair. Mine looks kind of wonky. 
Um, and she's not wearing much makeup. She's just beautiful, I think. And um, she's got like a cup of tea, a book, a weird double jointed thumb. She's on a couch. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and like capture the essence of those photos. Sorry, it's another red outfit. I don't, I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling lately. Red lady in red. I don't know about those, but I mean, I kind of get the idea. So, what if I do Janet Weiss from Rocky Horror? That'd be easy. I already kind of have been doing that same like pink and red aesthetic, but it'd be like a pink. <laughs> I have a pink shirt with a collar that would be very Janet Weissy, and then uh, like a white sweater um, and curly wet hair. That's Janet Weiss. We're a name tag. Let's get started. That looks like rain, right? And just like that, she's Janet Weiss. Now, Janet Weiss, in the movie version of Rocky Horror Picture Show, is played by Susan Sarandon, and she in, is like a prude who kind of has an awakening. And um, if you haven't seen this movie or a variation of it, it is one of the most entertaining things you will ever see. In this outfit, Janet comes in this house, and everybody's acting freaking weird, and she's like, um, I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm just plain scared. Like, let's get the heck out of here, Brad. Her fiancé's Brad. And he's like, I'm here, there's nothing to worry about. And then, right then, Frankenfurter, played by Tim Curry, drops down in an elevator and has this grand entrance, and she screams and faints because that's just who she is. And then he, um, uh, sings about being a sweet transvestite. And... This, um, is all I have. I could have wet my clothes, and I could have, like, a newspaper to hold over my head, but I just am not that dedicated today, so I'm just going to take a picture like this. Thank you for listening. I was about to call it. I was about to say I've lost the spark, I've lost the inspiration, I... I can't think of anything I could do easily, and I just... I thought that this would be... I thought I would have a lot more ideas along the way. And after the Janet Weiss look, I was like, man, that was a bit of a flop. And I looked in the mirror and my hair was starting to dry and it was parted in the middle. I never part my hair in the middle. I don't have the bone structure for that. And yet I saw something. Mary Kate and Ashley circa 2001. I feel rejuvenated. I am excited, but this will be the last one. A real quick bonus generic Rachel Green outfit. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but... tell me how Mary-Kate and Ashley look so cute in every stage of life and I try to dress like them and I look like a hungover soccer mom. Yeah, I don't want that back. Alright, here's my Mary-Kate. Lando the underworld. I forgot to wear the boots for Mary-Kate so I'm just going to go barefoot for Ashley as well. Um, so enjoy my dirty feet and do I need a purse for this? Sure, I have white pants. I'm going to wear a purse for this one. Ashley's hair is curly and she's also wearing sunglasses sometimes. Alright, thank 
you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing Halloween. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share. Um, that would be... <laughs> Bye! <laughs>